I knew this day was gonna come eventually. I was just hoping it wouldn't be now, but as you guys can tell by the title of the video, one of the owners at my vending machine locations finally kicked me out for the first time ever. The owner called me and he was like, hey, we don't want the machines no more, come and pick them up. And at first, I thought it was because a different vending company went over there and gave him more commission than I was giving them. But right now, I have no idea why I'm getting kicked out. And also the bad news is that this location was my biggest location yet. It was the Motel 6, which some of you guys have seen in my previous videos and that location was making like $1,500 to $2,000 every single month so it's pretty bad because it's a pretty big portion out of my vending machine business. So today we're going back to the motel, take my machines out and I'm going to ask the owner exactly why he's kicking me out. I'm going to take you guys with me so I hope you guys enjoy. If y'all do, go down below, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, let's go take our machines back. Guys, look, it's early in the morning. What time is it? It's 7.30 in the morning, but the guy that's gonna help us move the vending machine is gonna be here at eight. So we still have to go inside and take out all the food, all the ice cream out of the vending machine. That way, whenever he comes, we just go in there, take out the machine and take it back to the warehouse. Also, for everyone that didn't know, this was the only location that I pay commission every single month. So here I have the last month's rent. Should we show them how much it is? Show them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100, $160 just in commission for the last 30 days. But at the same time, 160, this is like one of the slowest months ever. I used to pay like 300, like 350 every single month. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. All right, guys, so this is a machine that we're going to be taking out, only the frozen machine. So we have to take out all the food, all the ice cream that's in there. Yeah, and unfortunately, I do have to throw everything away because it's not going to make it all the way back. It's going to melt. Wait, do you want to try this real quick? Bruh. I feel like we should eat as many as we can right now. <laughs> take a bite of each one. How are you? Good. Good. So yeah, it's just this machine. I'm just gonna quickly take everything out, okay. and then we can take it out of here. Okay. Now is it going into another location? No, going back to the our the warehouse. Storage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. And do it. <laughs> All right. So she's putting everything back into the machine. We should have just left the machine closed from the very beginning. That way the inside stays cold. But we'll see if it lasts all the way back to the warehouse. This is technically the first location we lose. Yeah. So oh. we're just showing everyone like the downside of it. Yeah, everybody shows the upside. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Everyone shows all the good, collecting money and everything, but nobody shows this when people lose locations. And the repairs. And the repairs. <laughs> Actually, surprisingly, we don't get that many repairs. No. <laughs> you got lucky. Hello. Um, here's the commission for this last month. I right, so. Okay. Thank you. Yo, shout out to all the people that were here ever since we first got this location. How long did we have this for? Like a year, a year, almost two years. We had this location, so it's crazy. Time flew by so quick. We made our money, but it's time to let it go. Don't cry. I'm Ma. sad. Don't cry. I really like that machine. We never had problems with that glass front and you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Why are you going to punch me? I wanted that one. That was a really good machine. So you guys might be wondering why we didn't take the drink and the snack machine, but I'll explain everything once we get back to the warehouse. So let's go. I'm way up on the coke and rum. You stay up, up and I'll come home. Don't wait up, cause I'm way too gone. Don't wait up, wait up. I'm way up on the coke and rum. Oh, we got some packages. 
Is one of them mine? No. You're always hungry, Wee. You don't get tired of eating? You don't get tired of complaining? It's heavy. <laughs> Look at you go. <laughs> Alright, so since we do have all the ice cream and food still inside the machine, we were gonna take everything out and take it back home so it doesn't melt. You had a good idea, I'm just gonna go back there and plug it in and just leave it plugged in until we take all the stuff out. Alright everyone, so it's been about a week since we took out the frozen machine out of the motel and it's early in the morning right now and you guys know some people like to start off their day with a nice hot cup of coffee but me, I'm what you would call a snack connoisseur so I have to start off my day with the brand new Barefoot and Oreo collab. Are you ready? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. First, I do want to say, guys, I know it's early in the morning, but we are not alcoholics, right? We just want to taste test it. And we're trying to wake up. Ooh. Oh, that box looks so cool. I can't see. Look. Look at it. Oh. Why would they put those lame Oreos, though? They should have put some exotics. They're not going to put exotics in it. Ooh, fancy. Grape wine with natural flavors. 13% alcohol. Ooh. Is that a lot? Yeah. Oh, look at the cap. It says wine's favorite cookie. But yeah, it's just red wine flavored like an Oreo, apparently. Of course, we had to come prepared, so open up that bad boy and let's start drinking. <laughs> I can't believe that. It smells exactly like it. I better not get any Oreo floaties in here. That's enough! Okay! It's, it's, it's 8 in the morning! <laughs> Here we go, Oreo flavored wine. Cheers! Wow, that that's strong. Ew! No! I will say, I'm not a big wine drinker, but it's not bad. The taste is for sure there. It does taste like an Oreo cookie. Ew! I hate my cookie soggy! <laughs> Alright, so you guys might also be wondering why we didn't pick up the drink and the snack machine out of the motel. What? And the Wait. What? I'm wondering why you have that crowbar. Oh, this good old thing? So this is basically what I take with me whenever I go and ask business owners if they want machines in their business and they say no. Let's just say that they say yes after I walk out of there. Anyways, the reason why we didn't take out the drink and the snack machine is because the owner called me right before the new year and he was like, hey, we're getting a new manager, which is confusing because I thought he was the owner of the Motel 6. But apparently they're getting a new manager and that person wants to take over the vending machines again, so they want to run it. So I was like, okay, do you want me to take my machines out? And he was like, well, if it's easier for you, I can just buy the machines from you so you don't have to take them out. And you know, he was like, how much do you want for them? So as I can see, I did end up selling both the drink and the snack machine to the owner. I basically got what I paid for for both machines, so it just made everything easier and I got my money back. The good news is that I had a location reach out to me a couple days ago and they basically want machines in their business. But fun fact, I actually had this location before. Some of you OGs might remember it because at one point there was a rat or a mouse or something that went into my machine and they ate all the chocolate. It was disgusting. Roll the clip. There you go guys, that's, that's what happens. All the little like torn pieces from the paper, or the wrapper I mean. Even back here dude, look at all of that. So right now we're actually going to that new location or old location, what do I call it? <laughs> so we're gonna go over there, I'm gonna take this brand new snack machine that we have as well as another drink machine that we're gonna be buying with the money I just got. Wait, which machine do you want to put? The one that has the touchscreen keypad or the one with the regular keypad? I think we should wait on this one. To save the best one for last? I don't want this one in a warehouse because then it'll get all dirty. We're going to be using some cardboard, put it in the glass. That way it doesn't hit the other machine and the glass breaks. Good tip. Okay, we were about to load up the machine into the pallet, but we realized we couldn't do to the wood underneath, so we had to break that real quick. And I was pretty calm all the way up to this point until my mover told me this. I dropped two machines in the truck. You dropped two machines? What? Oh my god. What happened to the machine? <laughs> it broke? Yeah. No, that's my worst nightmare. Drop... <laughs> Yo, please don't drop mine. <laughs> please. <laughs> the lip gate? This one is okay. Yeah. That one is like a very low, so when I bring it to the edge, it tilts it. I, yeah, I cannot hold it. I got 
blessings falling on me. I got weapons, need no on me. Stat like Tetris, you don't know me. Stat my fatty, you don't know me. Okay, hey now, it's a new kid on the playground. So many bags on me, you would've thought I was a spray ground. Now they know I don't play around. I can hear what you're saying now. I just doubled up my flight miles. No, they ain't in town. I get rich, watch, then I get a sick watch. Watch me hit the top, I might make a tick tock. Left hand, right hand. Catch the latest trend, I might double up. What the hell? Bro, <laughs> what? How did you guys get in there? All right, you guys, so as y'all can see, we are at Sam's Club because we have to buy most of the product to fill up the brand new machines. We have been trying to look for a new place to buy product from because Sam's is starting to get kind of like iffy. Sometimes they have some things we need, other times they don't. And I just feel in general that we just keep putting the same stuff, so they're getting tired of exactly. it. Exactly. We've been, we've been basically using the same items for the last three years, so we do want to find different stuff, like other stores maybe. Okay, so we just left Sam's Club. We did buy a total of 22 items and the grand total was $373 for the product. Is that a lot? Mm -hmm. Actually, we can't forget the pizza. It's also a business expense, $4. I swear, Sam's Club sells one of the best pizzas out there. Fight me in the, in the comments down below if you disagree, but for sure better than Costco. Like you've never seen the vending machine before. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought that's I get stuck. how it does it. Yeah, it just goes up, grabs it, and. Oh. All right, guys. So we just finished filling up both machines. We didn't record it because the location is already closing, so we didn't have time. But y'all can see the drink machine is all filled up. It looks nice as well as the snack machine. Look at this. A brand new machine. The LED lighting inside makes all the items look bright and good. I filled it up myself. Hopefully we don't get another rat. Don't even jinx it. We actually weren't able to fill up the machine completely, especially in the bottom, because for some reason, these coils or whatever you call them are stuck. Because I think whoever had this machine before me spilled one of the drinks, so like the entire bottom tray is all sticky and gooey, so like the trays get stuck. Time to close it? Yes. We actually didn't record much, especially when we first dropped off the machines because she was talking to like the like the big boss there. He wanted to know if the owner had to pay us any money. And I'm like, what? What? That's something a lot of business owners think that they have to pay for their service. You should have told them like a hundred bucks a month. No! <laughs> <laughs> it kind of makes sense because for other services, you do have to pay. Like the coffee services, water services. Right. So it makes sense, but I mean, still. But to help us out? To buy all the products? <laughs> Man, I should have said yes. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> We're good. What are you doing? I'm so sad. So what? You're drinking away your feelings? That's yes. not gonna get the location back. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, that's gonna be pretty much it for the video. We hope you guys did enjoy. Again, I know it's pretty sad that we lost our first location ever, but the good news is that we did get another new location, and on top of that, we did get another location that you guys didn't see in this video, but we did get two locations this month alone. So we are pretty happy about that. And last year we didn't really grow our vending business because I was busy growing Exotic World, which the link is down below. But this year we do want to get at least one location every single month. I think we can do it. It's pretty easy to find locations. Again, I hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.